Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're going to Ikea today. I am working on a dining room makeover. Right now we're kind of really just brainstorming. It's probably not going to happen for a little while because we gotta save up for it, source some items, and really fine tune it and make it perfect. But Ikea has some dining chairs that I wanna check out for the makeover I'm doing for my friend. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna see if there's anything new. We're gonna check out the dining chairs. We're gonna check out canisters. I need a couple canisters for my flour. I've been doing lots of sourdough bread making. So I'm gonna see if I like them. I did see some last time I was here that I really did like, but I wanna check them out, like think about it when I'm in here. And I figured you might wanna come. So let's get in here. Let's see what Ikea has currently. I showed these the last time, but these are canister option number one. So I'd get two of these, one for my rye flour and then one for my all purpose flour. $10.99, you almost, you can't beat that. And these ones have like the clear rubber, which I like, but the other ones are a little bit more old world. But the rubber is like a blue, I'll have to show you. It's like a very pale, like bluish white. And I'm so picky, even that bothers me. So I might get these for my flower, but the only thing about these is they take up a lot of space. And then I'll use my little label maker on here. I wish you were here literally with me so you can help me decide because it's such a struggle. I do love these though. I like the glass top. Oh, I think you have to buy the glass top separate though, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, okay, so it's $7.99 for the jar and $3 for the lid. So $10.99 total. I have been super into like little cake stands. This is so pretty with the flowers. This would have been perfect for Easter. Easter is actually tomorrow and like spring. That is adorable. And the scalloped edges. And you can separate the cloche from the stand as well. $24.99. This is so sweet. In the right home, I like this light fixture as well. I think it's really pretty with the gold on the inside and then the matte black on the outside. Very pretty. This is cute, $7.99. It's beautiful. I love all the texture. It's really pretty. This one's seven ninety nine, and this one's eleven ninety nine. Okay, this neutral blanket is very cute. Six ninety nine? Oh no, fourteen ninety nine. Very thin. Actually, this would be nice for outside. That's pretty. It's like a, a taupe and a cream. Very beautiful. Okay, normally I skip their furniture section. But this couch, if you wanted to try a print and not like spend a ton, this is a really cute couch. I like this. $7.99 for this. Well, it's a love seat, really. But it's very beautiful. It's like a kind of like a gray and taupe mix. But it's definitely giving more of like that timeless kind of look and feel. Smoke glass is pretty too, $19.99. Pretty. I still love this chair, but I feel like for $219, it's not like the best price, but I love it. I mean, I guess for outdoor furniture, it's really not bad. I just, I'm so into this right now and I really like the shape of this. This couch is cute too, with the skirting. I think I showed this one last time, $89.99 for this like rattan basket with the lid, a like little ottoman. I really, really like this. The only thing that worries me is this, but I feel like that's kind of how rattan is. And this is obviously very high traffic, so it's gonna get worn down rather quickly. Interesting. 119. It's actually really pretty. What do you think about this one? $7.99. It's in this beautiful green color. I 
like that. They have really pretty slip cover couches. This one, this gray one's on sale, for, or well, I don't know if it's on sale, but it's a thousand forty nine. That's really pretty, actually. I really love the skirting on the edge. Right? They have this like chocolate brown. And this love seat for a thousand. I'm really into this gray one and this chocolate brown. Look at that chocolate brown, that's gorgeous. And then these ones, I feel like I showed you these before. $11.50. These ones are much more organic, like the pillows. These are pretty as well. I think I like the other ones better though. They look a little bit better. Just better quality. These are really, really pretty too for that more like casual organic look. Ooh, look at that green couch too. A thousand. It's not quite velvet, but that's kind of pretty. I think it's the same as this one. Very traditional in shape. This green is gorgeous, especially next to this like natural linen look. Stunning. Ooh, look at this chair. 500. Very clean. Classy. And then I'm noticing more rattan, which I've shown these, I think. I'm super into these ones. These are like the perfect outdoor dining chair for a hundred each and extremely timeless. I've seen vintage chairs that pretty much look exactly like these. And I feel like these would be a good one to buy, especially if you don't want to spend a lot of money on outdoor furniture as like dining chairs. These are, I love these. I love these a lot. And you already know I love this one. I don't remember this one. It's all right. A little bit more modern, actually, if you like or want that look. It's pretty too, actually. But these, I don't know, I'm super drawn to these. And I think you can get cushions for these too if you wanted to go the extra step and add a little more comfort. Okay, those are so comfy. It's a good price for an outdoor dining chair. I love these, you guys. I'm like, oh, and they're super lightweight. Like even look at the back against a table. Like if you had a stone table, <gasps> oh, that'd be gorgeous. These dining chairs, upholstered dining chairs look really nice too, $200 each. I'm really loving that they are doing more like nubby finishes. And this one, so good, look at it next to the rattan. It looks very high end actually. If you missed my last Ikea video, I shared this bar cart. This is such a good bar cart, 160. But the brass is actually really, really good and the shape is just super timeless. I really, really love this one. I really do love this one. And seeing it again, it just confirms how much I love it. It's very good. This little outdoor bar car is only $24.99, $25. I mean, it's definitely not the highest quality, but it's pretty good quality for $25. Okay, we're gonna look in here. I feel like there's such good pieces in here. First of all, I really like these baskets. I love the shape of these. $15 for a four pack. And then these plates. Those are just okay to me. I love, love dinnerware and glassware. These are pretty. I really love the mixture of baskets. So they use, you know, one material here and then a seagrass here. That helps it feel more collected. And then look at these tiny little dessert bowls. I do like those as well. $10 for a four pack. And then these dinner plates are really pretty. This little basket's sweet. I like that. I love seagrass. It just feels and looks like quality to me. 
Okay, this countertop is gorgeous. Can't decide when I get a house if I'm gonna go with the light countertops or dark countertops. I don't know, I love dark, but I really want white as well. These are awesome too for waters if you have like a dinner party. And then these you can make little gifted like homemade vanilla or different syrups, cocktail syrups you know, whatever. You could also do like a big batch of vanilla in these tall ones. These are just great. I love these. $2.99 for this big one. $3.49 for the middle. And $6.50 or six fifty for a three pack of these small ones. And you can use them for so many different things. Look at this little cutie. I like this little mister for $15 with the ribbed glass and the brass top. That's really sweet. This cabinet would be super cool in like a more masculine or gentleman's room or like a gentleman's office. I like this. I would actually probably change out the top for marble, but it's really cool. And this light. I love this light. I shared it last time. It's thirty dollars. That lantern light. I, uh, not IKEA. Zara Home has a really pretty one too. I'll put it on the screen. This is cute for outside. I think I shared this one as well. Fifty dollars. So so sweet. I love a task light. $79.99 for this one here. I like that. It's like a matte gray and it looks like it has like a phone charger. That's cool. And then I still love these vases. These look like a vintage style vase. So pretty. Okay, if you really went all out for Easter, these are cool. They're like metal brass rabbits, or even for a child's room. How sweet are those for $18? I can't tell what color they are. They're kind of like a gold, I think. Those are kind of cute. These wall rods and hooks are so sweet. My sister has these and she puts her coffee mugs and then you can also put plants, but you can also put your, what is it called? Your paper towel holder on these. I think they have like an attachment for paper towels, but they're really cute. I thought about these for my coffee bar and then decided not to do that, but it's a really good option. I think it comes in gold too, but I'll have to double check on that. Okay. Okay. These are more like, um, cardboard boxes, but $15 for these hat boxes. This could be really cute in a space, actually. Hmm, I like those. Another really great bar cabinet, $130 for this metal, black metal glass bar cabinet. It ha well, okay, wait a minute. The glass shelves would kind of freak me out because barware gets heavy especially when you get bottles of liquor but you could put them on the bottom and then like your glassware up top okay i've been here before and i don't know that i noticed this i do love this i think this is like just cool and unique and different reminds me of something cb2 would have 40 dollars but i like this cabinet it's really cute very simple but i love it I think I showed these last time as well, but these crates, you can use these for anything. You can paint them, you can stain them. You can leave them raw wood like this, let them patina, but such good storage pieces, whether that's a bathroom, if you have, you know, art supplies, things like that. I, I've always loved these. I do try to find vintage crates, but in a pinch, $15. Also Michaels has good crates as well, but these are smaller and they feel a little softer. Michael's feels a little bit more unfinished. Wait, what's this little shelf? Hmm. They have a plethora of dining chairs and I did spot the one that I came here for, so we're gonna head over there 
and check it out. This is the dining chair we came for. See how the back is open? I just wonder how comfortable that would be, but $145 per chair, which really isn't bad. I mean, it's not $35, but I think it's supposed to be solid wood. Let's see. And it's giving a little bit more of like a modern look. You can, you know, mix it with a lighter table. Yeah, solid wood. Okay, let's sit on it and see if it's comfortable. Okay, I just sat in it. It's actually not bad. It's super lightweight. I don't know. I need to bring my friend and see if she thinks it's comfortable, but it's such a cool shape. I really like it. And that dark wood is just gorgeous. Here's another one of those cabinets. This one has like the reeded, I actually think it's plastic. But if you wanted to hide the items more, 170 and do some like decorative baskets or, you know, decorative, maybe you could put alcohol liquor bottles at the bottom. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure how I feel about this one actually. Let me know what you think. Wait, I think I saw these last time too. I probably am sharing, resharing so many things with you, but you know, that's all right. $8, four pack. I feel like I need these. I think I'm gonna get these. They're super thin coasters, but especially you could use these even for outside just for like another layer and texture. That's interesting. This is the other canister. I'm sure you'll know what I'm talking about. Wait, this one doesn't have the rubber, or does it? Let me see. No, this one doesn't. Okay, never mind. <laughs> We're gonna find one and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I just, I get so picky, even down to the rubber on the charts. Kind of ridiculous, but $30 too for this little lantern. I like this. I've loved this for so long. You know that. I've shared it before. I'm sharing it again. Oh, and these market baskets. I like these too. I have some in my Amazon storefront. These are $8 for a set of two. Very sweet. How have I never noticed IKEA's hardware? Look at these little knobs. Actually, I feel like I might need these for a project, but I want them to be unlacquered. Pack of two for six dollars though. Wait a minute. I also like these oval. A little big for the piece I'm working on, but I might get the I don't know, they look a little like too fakey. Maybe not. This is my favorite kitchen display at our IKEA. I don't know why. Oh wait, they changed the wallpaper. I don't think it was this before. I thought it was like a floral -y print. I could be wrong. I just feel like they picked such good stuff for this display. Although I don't know that I love the gray counters with the uh, wood, light wood. I don't know, I'm not sure, but I do love this one. This is definitely reminds me of Jean Stouffer. So cool. And these are really nice. These seagrass uh, placemats. This is $10 each. They do have these in gold. Okay, so these also come in gold. The little, what are these called? Just a brass rod and then the hooks. And then you saw the black already, but. And they're oh, such a good price, $9? You have to buy the hooks separate, but still $9 for a cute little moment gold or black. I think you can order them online too. If you can, I'll link them down below. But I think these are cute. Okay, I'm going to look and see if these say, so maybe they're just really bright and shiny. I don't know. Okay. I don't know if they're unlacquered brass. So I was thinking maybe they would patina. Might even be worth just trying for 
or six dollars for a pack of two, not six ninety nine. I do not know where I got that. <laughs> huh? Are these unlock your breasts? I'm gonna look online real quick. Okay, I'm gonna pass on these because I don't think that they're unlacquered brass. Two pack for six dollars. I don't know if that's a. I mean, that'd be a good price if they were unlacquered. But if they're just gold, I don't know. I'm not sure. I looked online and I couldn't tell or I couldn't see if they were. And they're just really bright gold, but I love how small they are. They do come in black though, so there is that option as well. And they come in this silver. So that's another option as well. They have a lot of knobs actually. So if you're looking for knobs, Ikea might be where you want to check out and see. Oh, these are pretty. Those are so cute. I still to this day remember the day that Zach and, I, Zach and I bought this entire set. We bought the bed, we bought two dressers and two nightstands, and it was the biggest splurge of our marriage, and it hurt. We were very scared. So seeing this piece just really takes me back to that time. And I just remember thinking this was the most beautiful dresser I've ever seen, and it's still here. Anyway, I had to share that little story because, I don't know, I look at this piece and it just makes me think of that time when we were so young. I mean, I think we were 19, 20 when we bought this. Oh no, we were maybe early 20s, but anyway. I just remember getting in these drawers every day. <laughs> okay, I actually like these little lights. $25. Okay, wait, these might work for the bedroom makeover that I am doing for my friend. Those are perfect. I like those actually. And $25. That's such a great price. I've been looking all over for these and the prices are all over, but these are really, really cute and small and perfect and just what I need. Also, this bed frame is actually not that bad. I don't know if I love the gold, but I like the shape. Let me show you the foot piece as well. Very cute. I kinda wanna get one of these for my sourdough bread to brush off the extra flour on my loaves. I have one in my, Ikea, uh, not Ikea cart, my gosh, I'm getting confused. My Amazon cart that is wood and I think I'll like a little bit better for aesthetics, but I like these scalloped edge pie plates and ramekins. So pretty. Ooh, look at these. I like these glass mixing bowls with the spout. $9. I really like those actually. These would actually be pretty for display. Very classic. They have some good kitchen towel options. This is pretty, this one's pretty. They have this one too, these green flowers. And citrus. These super lightweight cloths are the best for bread making, uh, cinnamon roll making, anything like that. I love these lightweight, just towels to throw over dough for rising. So good, and these are a set of four. Back to the same dilemma that I had the last time on these jars. Okay, yeah, they have like the, it's like almost like a mint green rubber piece. I'm gonna get the Amazon ones. I do like these ones as well, but my gut says the other ones just for the style of my home. But I like these and I do, I just think these are just gonna be too big for the space. Or if I did something like this, it's a little taller and skinnier so I can fit more in my tiny little pantry that I have. But I like these. I do like these a lot. I really do. If I had a bigger space, I probably would go for those. Cute. Did I see these last time? You kind of forget what you, what you saw and what you didn't see, but I like these like brown smoky glass. This is pretty too. Pretty, mix with the black and woven in there. These are seven dollars. I like these a lot. I just have no place for placemats. 
Those are really gorgeous though. I think that's a tablecloth. And if that's a tablecloth, I kind of like it. Wait, are these their tablecloths? How did I not notice these last time? Ooh, I like this one. It's like, um, it has like a taupe stripe or like a tan stripe. Where is that? Oh, right here. Okay. Yeah, pretty. Oh, I like this. Hold on, $25. I might get that. I like that. And then they have a linen with a kind of dusty blue border. Or not border, but end. <laughs> I don't know the right way to say that. Oh, this is the one that's... Oop, let me just drop that. It's up top there. It's like a window pane. Gray and like a cream. That's really pretty. I like this one though a lot. Do they have a smaller one? Let's see. No, I think it only comes in the one size. Wait. Yeah, just one size. I like this. Look at that, how pretty that is. Super, super timeless. Would go with anything. I wanted to take a look at the bedding again because for the guest bedroom that I'm working on, I thought I would check out their green options again. So I mentioned my nephew's bedroom that I want to do a makeover on, but that could be a while before we do that because he's back in Oregon. But the guest bedroom, that could be soon. And I want to do green. I think it would be gorgeous to do green in there. So I, I really like Ikea's green tones. They have like the perfect olive green. And then this window pane is gorgeous too. It kind of makes it feel a little bit more like a grown-up room. It's going to be a guest bedroom. So I want it to feel cozy and beautiful and just well-designed. I think I like this one just for an added layer and pattern. But I do like the solid too. Great. Oh, what if I did both? <gasps> If I did this, and then we put this like folded at the end, like a double duvet, okay, that could be really cute. And I don't think that they're terribly priced. Looks like Queen's $35. Okay, like that. Okay, that's a cute little makeup bag. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. You could use it for more than just a makeup bag too. $8. I like that. I'm so into green right now anything green is just capturing my attention I just I love green oh look at these towels these waffle with the frayed edges super thin though that plaid throw looks very cute this is it down here so you can get a closer look at the colorway $40 it's wool so it feels a little scratchy so it's gonna be just for looks but it's a cream and gray mix I've been noticing that the cream and gray I like this look at it up there that's really pretty this could be a good one for the guest bedroom depending on what we end up doing for the bed but then they have these I think I showed these too $15 I like this nubby one too even this muslin brown, gorgeous. And such a good price if you're trying to just, you know, finish a room off on a strict budget. Oh, wow, look at this. Scalloped edges. They have the braided doormat, and then they have this one, $10, $16. And I know a lot of people do the layered look, but I thought, what about the layered on the same material, but different textures? It gives kind of like that monochrome, but it adds, I don't know, layers. For some reason, I really, I really like it. Even though it's like tone on tone, but I, I don't know, I like that. I'm not going to go crazy on showing rugs. I showed some rugs. I think some of the best ones that Ikea has in my last Ikea shop with me. They do have quite the selection of rugs to choose from. I do like this rug. 800 but it's a five by what was it a five by seven so not very big but it does look good i gotta say okay 
sweet. This one's good too. It's in that beautiful green tone, 800 five by seven again. I'm impressed. That's pretty. I kind of like this one for outdoor. 280, five by seven. Wait, is this about, yeah, five by seven. I kind of like this for outside. It's very, you know, you'd need a, a rug pad, but I am noticing some new ones, so. Okay. I really am kind of impressed. These look really, really good and I love the prints. I found more of those towel racks, rods, or kitchen rods with all the um, attachments. So you can see there's the paper towel attachment, the hooks, it comes in silver, gold, and black. I don't know, I like those. Super affordable too. I like these task lights. It looks like they come in three colorways. You have kind of this cream, this dusty blue, and then this silver, which I'm into, $30. I might be going and doing some styling for a client. If I do and I can, I will film it, but I think that this light would be the perfect light. It's like their office area. I like this, really pretty. These LED pillar candles are super unique and different. I haven't seen anything like these. Very contemporary. $17 for a set of three. If you, definitely for outside, those would be really cool. And then they have like the regular kind as well. I don't know if I like this for right now, as far as like the season, but fall, this is such a good wreath. I absolutely adore that. Okay. I really, really like that. This one's cute too, actually. I guess if you had like a really neutral home, this would be really good, but I feel like for me, oh, here it is up here, 25. For me, I would want to save that for fall. And here's this one. Same, I'd want to save that for fall, but I love them. They have a candle snuffer. I don't love the bell ones, but this one is pretty. I just don't like how it moves, because you know, I like them to be a little more stable, but it is really cute. That doesn't bother you. This is really pretty for four dollars. It's one twenty for chairs, four fifty for the table. It's just checking out their prices for outdoor furniture. Oh, this one's pretty too. Five fifty for the table, ninety five for the chairs. I feel like outdoor furniture is so crazy expensive, but these seem reasonable. I don't think I've seen these terracotta pots. I love these, $25 and $19. I like those, very timeless shape. I have seen these ones over here. The other ones are a little bit bigger. I don't know, I like them. Oh, and then they have these like really <laughs> contemporary ones. I like those. And outdoor baskets, these seem like they would hold up. They have a little bit of that like thicker wicker feel to them. $45 for the big one. Yeah, I like these actually. Put throw blankets in there. You can put a plant in there. It has a liner. It comes in a smaller size. Very cute. All right, we are done shopping at Ikea and I did buy something. I bought the tablecloth. I just thought it was so classy and I really loved like the light tan stripe in the tablecloth. I don't know, it was just beautiful. It's gonna try to get me. I'm like trying to peek around so I could see. It's gorgeous. I just feel like I'll use this a ton. And like I said, it's just very classy, classic, very thin, you know, kind of like that pinstripe look to it. I just, I loved it and I had to have it. Now, I was gonna also get the very thin seagrass coasters, but I talked myself out of them. I do not need them. If for some reason I need them, I'll come back and get them. But for now, I just, I don't, I don't need them. So I did not get those. I couldn't talk myself out of this. I just, I had to have it. I, I love it. It's a really good price too, $25. $25 for a 57 by 94 inch. Had to have it. It's gorgeous. I just, I loved it. 
anyway, I did see a lot of things that I like, and you know what's really fun? What's fun is as your style evolves and you open your mind to different styles and different looks and different things, it's almost like you walk, I swear, I walked in there and I was like, I'm pretty sure I saw this before, but it, I like saw it in a, a new set of eyes, if that makes sense. So that was super fun. I felt like I had a lot of fun looking in Ikea this time and a lot more vision and I was able to kind of see how I would use Ikea items mixed with vintage, mixed with high, you know, items and how you could really, mix in those pieces again just being picky with the quality i think is going to go a long way but they do have some really good options in there right now let me know which item was your favorite thank you for coming along for shopping with me and watching today's video and i will see you guys in a couple days with another bye i would say we were good together